Hi, in this presentation, we will discuss the repair of damaged wind turbine blades. This work is carried out, in the new project, Maintenance and Repair Strategies for Wind Energy Development, which started in October 2020. The project includes the collaboration of DTU Wind Energy, Danish Blade Service Repair Company, Indian Institute of Technology Delhi, Indian National Institute of Wind Energy, and several Indian repair companies. We will present now, first results of our survey on damage mechanisms and repair in Europe and India, discuss potential of improvement of repair technology by changing curing regimes, present computational models of curing, adhesive bonding and repair, and our ongoing experimental studies. First question is, which blade damage mechanisms are commonly observed, in real world, and how blades are repaired? We prepared survey, and asked technicians, repair and service companies, wind park owners, wind turbine manufacturers, to fill this survey. Here, you can see the initial survey, which we also published on LinkedIn, and which was sent to many companies. The first question was where, and under which climatic conditions, the serviced wind turbines are installed. You can see, that we have both observations from Europe, snowy regions, and from India. The age of wind turbines in the parks ranged from 1 year to 14 or even 18 years. Which blade damage mechanisms are observed? Most often, the surface erosion is reported. But also, lightning strikes are observed quite often. What is the maintenance strategy, and who makes repair and service? Most often, the maintenance is based, on regular inspections. Repair and maintenance are carried out by in-house teams of the wind farm owners. But also by wind turbine manufacturers. How soon after the installation are different damage mechanisms observed? In fact, quite early. Surface erosion, is observed often even in the first and second year. Structural cracks are observed later, typically, after five to eight years. The answers on the question, what was the biggest headache, are important for us, researchers, to define our study direction. As you can see, composites blades are not first things, which make problems for park owners. Often, it is generator, gearbox, for blades. The correct prediction of service time, is important. What we can see from this survey, is that wind turbine blades can be damaged quite early, in the time range of 1 to 8 years after the installation. But what are the costs, of blade repair? The levelized cost of energy, include variable operating costs, which in turn include the costs of unscheduled maintenance activities, repairs, and downtimes. In this way, the repair conditions, in particular, duration of work, size of team, costs of equipments, frequency of repair, influence the energy costs. You can check, for more details, in our recent article in, Wind Energy, Journal. Here, you can see some typical expenses for the blade repair. The blade maintenance and repair, are in no way cheap. It should be noted, that minor repairs are in total much more expensive, than major repairs, if the leading edge repair requires nine hours, two technicians, and takes place once per year, while the major repair of blade cracking requires 21 hours, three technician with average salary 70 euros per hour, and is necessary once per eight to ten years. The total costs of surface erosion repair can be up to several times higher than that of structural repair. Among other things, we can see one possible solution to reduce the repair costs. By reducing the curing time, for instance, by using ultraviolet curing, the repair costs can be reduced by up to 10 times. Further, quick repair allows easier choice of repair window. Changing adhesives and their curing conditions should not compromise the repair quality. So, how the parameters of blade repair influence its quality? To answer this question, we developed a computational model of blade repair. Repair procedure includes removal of damaged region, surface preparation, attachment, and bonding a patch to the parent laminate. The patch can be applied as soft, or hard patch. Soft path is co-cured together with the adhesive at the same time, while a hard patch is pre-manufactured in mold. An imperfect attachment, voids in adhesives, suboptimal patch design can lead to the early degradation, of the repaired structure. 
To analyze the stress field in the repaired laminate, we developed a Python code, which automatically generates, computational models of the repaired system. The model includes coating, scarf, adhesive, and laminate with several anisotropic layers. The parameters of the model, as thickness of the layers, of coatings, properties, can be easily modified. The computational models allows the analysis of the effect of the scarf geometry, scarf angle, adhesive thickness in the stress and deformation of the repaired structure. A number of computational studies were carried out. One observation, is that the most dangerous area in the adhesive, is close to the upper part, coating. Further, we studied the effect of the adhesive thickness, and scarf angle. It was observed, that the higher scarf angle leads to higher stress concentration both in the adhesive, and in repaired composite. The model was validated by comparison with simplified analytical, Voigt type model. The computational studies also demonstrated that soft adhesives create additional stresses in the system. As compared to stiff adhesives. In order to analyze the effect of voids, we use the submodeling techniques. It means, that a small element is placed in the adhesive, and assigned various structures. In this way, the effect of its structure of adhesive on the stress field is studied. As expected, the voids in adhesive create drastic local increase of local stresses. Thus, we can say, that voids in the adhesives, especially in the upper part, should be prevented. Where these voids come from? In order to analyze the formation of voids, we develop a code, on the basis of kinetic model of curing, developed by Ledriou and colleagues. Here, we see an overview of different mechanisms, influencing the void formation of cured adhesives. Among different techniques, one should reduce water concentration in resin. Diffusivity coefficient, varying pressure regime. Further studies of the ultraviolet curing effect, based on this approach, are underway. The simulations and studies above gave us some hints and directions how to improve the repair technology. We seek to compare different curing technologies experimentally. The experimental program includes the following steps. We take several laminate plates, damage them, and repair, using different technologies. The technologies to be tested are hand layup lamination, vacuum repair, using ultraviolet curing, other. The samples will be tested and the results will be anonymized, and presented. The experiments are still underway now, and we will report results in due time. Let us summarize the main observations. Survey of main challenges. Blade damage, and repair technologies is carried out. Blades are damaged relatively early. In the 1 to 8 years after installation. Often, the wind turbine blades need repeated repair just a few years after the first repair. Repair of blades is quite expensive. Quality and costs of repair depend on the bonding, curing and attachment conditions. Computational model of scarf repair is developed. The effect of voids and the void formation is analyzed. Experimental program on testing various repair adhesives is underway. We are grateful to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Denmark, and to Danita Foundation, for the support. Via the Maintainer G project. Here, you can see the list of our publications in this area. Feel free to drop me a line, if you need some of them. Thank you very much for your attention.